Hello. So, today, true end. <laughs> um, didn't actually see, like, so, yeah, I'm gonna cheat <laughs> and get to the, the true end that, you know, Spear sent me yesterday. Because, I mean, um, to get there I have to make the exact right decisions, and I guess you could deduce them from the story. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat and choose the, the, the guide answer here. Um, so, the right answers are, she has her reasons. She has her reasons. There are unavoidable reasons why she is the way she is. Last night, Kuon told me that Nina's past is more complicated than most people's is. Oh, maybe this one didn't matter at all, or, or does it really? I don't know. I'm gonna follow whatever uh, the guide says, man. You know. Hey, do you know when your earliest memories are from? Dina lets out a small gasp and averts her gaze. Then, so softly that the rustling of the waves almost drowns it out, she says. I see, that's what I figured. Still gotta eat that shaved ice, man. When Kuon said that Dina was found here on the beach, she wasn't talking about the time she'd been spirited away. She was referring to the time when Dina was uh, first washed up here ten years ago. Now, I think I did choose the right answers here. I know exactly what she's talking about. I recently had a similar experience, but it happened to her ten years ago. Which means at the time she would have been. Oh no, I didn't! I chose... Okay, I chose seven. Right, whatever. Uh, so ten years ago, she's now 23 then? Even though... Well, she had not aged for a while. Well, I thought I chose this option. But I didn't. Okay. Must have... Well, whatever. She's 17 right now. But time stood still for her during the five and a half years that she was missing. Oh, right, yeah. So it's like... Uh, right, 13 plus 5... Is that... what? I don't even... whatever. It's the same... Uh, as when I went into a cold sleep in order to start my journey into the future. To her, ten years ago feels like a mere four and a half years ago. That's why she must have been thirteen... or must have been thirteen when she first washed up on this beach. It was the same for me. All I was left with was the strong sense of duty, a strong sense of duty, but I couldn't remember the crucial details of what I had to do. She asked for his name, but did she really? I tried to recall what I said first when I woke myself up on this or when I woke up on this beach myself. What was the name of the one I was really looking for? Right, it was Dina. In that case, the one you're truly looking for. The name you said first... The name you said first should have belonged to... Now, this one I did actually get right. Because the next one is Setsuna. Your mom. That's like a weird... I wonder where that's gonna bring me. Setsuna. Is that whose name she said? No, he's just a fictional character. It can't be right. The name you said first belonged to your Setsuna, right? <laughs> Setsuna, 
I think back to the list of soot blight syndrome patients that Udon showed me. Next to Ohara Norimasa's name, there was another name, Ohara Setsuna. Right, the boy who introduced himself to, to S. Setsuna to Nino was actually. And this one, I am stupid because I had forgotten that that, uh, the boy, uh, with when the whole shed arc, I guess. The whole shed, um, Stuff I'd forgotten that it was actually the son of the Hara family who was left out. This is mere speculation on my end, but I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Ohara Setsuna, the boy was born, uh, the boy who was born to this world as the Ohara family's eldest son. It wasn't just the Ohara bloodline that he inherited; he also inherited the gene causing soot blight syndrome and was ostracized by society. The only place he could play freely was at the beach at night. On, cer on a certain night, a girl suddenly appeared calling his name, that moment would end up shaping both of their destinies. The mayor told me I wasn't the first one to wash up on this island, and that the previous person brought them nothing but disaster. They must have had a secret agreement amongst themselves. They planned to turn this girl who'd washed up on the island into a successor for the Ohara family to maintain the balance between the three families, and so the girl became Ohara Rinne. This is the reason why Udon was hesitant to show Nina her DNA test results. The truth is, and this is one I think I got right too, she's not related to the Oharas. Sublight syndrome is a hereditary disease. Caused by a mutation on the X chromosome. Ohara no Yimasa had it. His X chromosome carried a mutation responsible for the disease. So if he had a daughter, it would have definitely been passed on to her. But Dina doesn't have sublight syndrome, which means she can't possibly be related to the Oharas. <clears throat> the girl had wandered into an unfamiliar world, having lost all of her memories. Also, is, is this really... The right thing. Yeah. I guess it will now branch off at some point, and I don't know how that works in the flowchart. I have no idea. Um, the girl had wandered into an unfamiliar world, having lost our memories. The boy had been raised in a complete, in complete secrecy and isolation, as if his existence had to be erased from the world. It was natural for the two to gravitate towards each other. They needed each other, after all. But that mutual, def uh, that mutual dependence distorted their relationship. They met by chance, led by a false sense of destiny, and I know the conclusion of their story. It ended in tragedy because they allowed their supposed destiny to control them, and Nina was left alone in this world, waiting for the real Setsuna to return. All by herself, on this beach of faded meetings. Fated meetings? Oh, here we go again. It's okay, Nina. I understand. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine this way. Hey, Nina, I told you, didn't I, that you'd one day be able to love again? But you simply believed what I said. <clears throat> you simply tried to fulfill your promise. It didn't have to be someone with the same name, you know? It could have been anyone as long as they made you happy. And yet, honestly, you're always so... You've crossed through centuries, leaving our meeting behind in a distant future, and yet... You're choosing me again. Yeah, you're the only one for me. Because I'm... I'm Setsuna. Many Setsunas have existed throughout the ages. The one from the legend, the one from the Ohara family, and the one f who lost his life as a member of the exploration team. But I'm none of them. I'm me, the one and only. That's right, I'm Setsuna, and I've crossed through time just to see you. It's been a long, long journey. It's been fun at times, but pretty rough overall. 
It always takes me too long to realize what's truly important, and I've missed so many chances I had to catch you. But I won't let you go. I won't let go of you anymore. I'll never let you go. Not until we meet our fate. Yeah, I know you better than anyone in the world. Ooh, I don't remember. Isn't this the part where the credits start playing? Should I just hit next and just like... I don't know. I'll just go through this whole part again. No different from the way things are now. Seems that I've got no choice but to tell her about our memories together. We often used to walk together, searching for something just like we are now. No, in a perfectly white world covered by a blanket of snow. The clear azure sky stretched out endlessly above us, and the sun shining brilliantly down upon us. Together we walked to the ends of that world. Yeah, it turned out to be a lot closer than we thought, but I didn't realize it at the time. Thinking back, it was probably because I took it for granted. She was always at my side. She stuck with me through the worst, to worst of times, even it when I'd lost sight of myself, turned rotten and almost withered away. And that's why I was able to find what I'd been looking for. And you know, the place we met. Aren't you curious? And then the credits start playing. I will skip it now because it should be exactly the same, right? You may be right. The eldest daughter of the Ohara family, Dina, maybe it's going to be different. I don't know. And their servant sounds like I said, Sana, she's right. It's fine this way for now. A bright future awaits us. A brilliant future which nobody has ever seen before. Because doesn't the normally the uh, the ending is it going to be different? Yeah, let's go home, Nina. But only but if she one day regains her memories, then I'll tell her everything, all about the fantastic adventures we had together. So this is supposed to be it's going to be different? Question mark. Well, hello, Spear. I set through this because I thought maybe it's going to be different. It's the same. It's exactly the same. I should just be able to just skip forward to the next choice. I don't remember when exactly that was. Uh, Kuhn stops in her tracks. We've arrived at the far end of the beach where the old boat is rotting in the sand. Wait a second, stop. I'll let me say it myself. Um, honestly, both Rinna and Kuon have this habit of saying the most important things before I can say them myself. Whew. But this is something I have to put into words myself. She has to hear it from my own lips. I swear I'll make Rinne, the other Rinne, happy. I close my eyes and think back to my long, long journey. The past, the present, and the future. They all mingle together, forming a complicated web that shapes our world. However, everything started with a single girl. There's no need. There's only one answer possible. Dina and Dina. They're like, I don't know if one's supposed to be pronounced differently. I thought it was meaningless to consider which of them was the actual catalyst. But the endings, uh, but endings and new beginnings are always connected. In that case, there's only one answer. I swear I'll make Dina happy. She was the girl I first met. How is how really? The one I originally fell in love with. You'll probably laugh at me if I tell you this, but she and I are bound by destiny. We've always been. No, maybe it's more accurate to say that I've been reeling in the thread of destiny that she created. I've lived my life for the sole purpose of making her happy. That's why. I beg you, cool. I kneel down and press my forehead to the sand. Please let me marry her. I'm the only one who understands her. I'm the only one in this whole world. Dina needs me, and I need Dina. We both need each other in order to keep on living in this hopeless world. I'll keep on devoting my life to her happiness, so... I feel something warm drip onto my head. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, shit! Wow, that changes things a lot. Whoa, wait a minute. Why is she crying? Her tone of voice is cold as ice. 
Speaking of ice, woo. you can probably hear the... Cool. <laughs> wow. What's going on now? I look up. The mother's face is filled with anger. What nonsense is that? Tears sparkle in the moonlight beneath the hood that's pulled low over her eyes. <laughs> I didn't think I'd hear her scream. Dude. Oh. Whoa. oh shit, dude. <laughs> well, bad ending. <laughs> With that warning, Kuhn turns around and leaves at a brisk pace. Yeah, what do you say? What did I do wrong? Why is Kuhn mad at me? It was because I didn't consider her feelings before pushing mine upon her. No, it isn't that simple. The first thing I said was a mistake. Dine. To Kuon. Dine is just Dine, nobody else. But before I realized it, I'd started seeing her as Dine. That's what must have incurred her mother's wrath. <laughs> How should I explain? How can I convince her that both Dine and I came from the future? No, the real issue comes before that. It would be the same as telling her that Nina isn't really her daughter. That would surely infuriate the mother even more. Mother? Nina came from the future, so there's no way that Kuon could have given birth to her. Right. Given the answers that I picked, right? That... That wasn't the Nina that was... Like, there was a, a different Nina who was in a cold sleep replaced her? Oh, fuck, I don't even... I think I remember something from the anime. Shit. <clears throat> I won't... Nina doesn't have a father in the first place, so there's no need to emphasize the fact that she's Kulin's daughter alone. Nina doesn't have a father in the first place, so there's no need to emphasize the fact that she's Kuon's daughter alone. <laughs> Kuon is the one who's got the wrong idea, not me. Right? <laughs> there's only one option, boys. Nina came from the future. That's right. There's no other way to explain her uncanny resemblance. Nina doesn't have a father. You mean... That's right. That's why it was so tough on Kuon and why it required so much courage. You mean, uh, because Norimas had died? Kuon is wrong. <laughs> Whoa! That's right. Maybe... I... Maybe I never really understood Kuon. Bruh, what? あら、もう。セツナさんじゃないですか。奇遇ですね、こんな時間に。私ちょうど仕事が上がったところなんですよ。ちょっと一杯。Why would you want to go there? 
Oh, that's when I was uh, depressed, probably. Garando, Garando Mari, I'd like to ask you something. No, shut up. It's about Kuon. Her expression tells me that she knows something, just as I had expected. Wuka. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I'd rather you just hurry up and tell me. Maria leans closer to me with a tired expression on her face. How to treat grown up women? With those mm, suggestive words, Maria leaves the room before coming back. Don't want to see a mom in a swimsuit? And why do you keep one at the clinic? <laughs> she finally leaves the room. Between us adults, huh? She's right, maybe it's about time I grew up. My childhood in which every in which every day brought new excitement has long since passed. Kampai. Maria returns with two shot glasses that are filled to the room with vodka. A toast to what? Uh, after clinking our glasses together lightly, we both gulp down our shots, dude. The cold liquid seems to freeze my throat at first before giving way to a burning sensation. Can't be good for your throat to do this over and over, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> no, please don't. Are you having fun, Maria? <laughs> Judging by the expression on her face, it doesn't seem like she's done. It doesn't seem like she's lying. Does this mean that once you grow up, you can only derive pleasure from little little things in life, or maybe? Yeah, that's right. Why is that italics? Why is that? Maria loudly clears her throat before she continues. Backstory time. Right, that would make sense what she is wearing uh, that what onesie thing? I don't know what that is. Natsumi is uh, Karen's mother. ただ子供心にどこか近寄りがたい雰囲気は感じていました。島での評判を聞く限り、ひどく保守的で古臭い考え方の持ち主だったそうですね。私と同じくらいの年頃の使用人の女の子に会うためではありません。私と同じくらい
わなきゃやってられませんねこりゃ。あ、しかも、ビーホルダー、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、ケーキ、Yes, there's the mom Ohara, the dad Ohara, the maid, and the, the baby. Didn't, didn't have a brother as well. What is your name? I'm a little bit of 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 a a そのかいあってか、リンネちゃんはとてもクーちゃんになついていました。クーちゃんにとっては大変だったでしょうが、同時に一番幸せな時期でもあったのに、ここから先は全く胸くその悪い話ですよ。オハラクオンにとっては、リンネちゃんがクーちゃんになついたことが気に入らなかったのでしょうね。やがて二人に対する必要な虐待が始まります。具体的なことは伏せさせてください。酒がまずくなります。酒がまずくなります。それでもクーちゃんは、カタクナにあの家にとどまり続けました。オハラクオンの矛先はいつしかクーちゃんからリンネちゃんに移っていきました。But this Ohara Kuon is not actually Kuon, right? Or not the Kuon that we know. ですの浜辺に流れ着き、保護されました。Three days later。ということに、表向きはなっています。ここからは、この島では一部の人間しか知らない話ですので、どうか刹那さんもご内密に。事件の翌月、本土の港で身元不明の女性の遺体が上がりました。The original? So it wasn't just Dine who fell into the ocean. Dangai no Ue de Nani got the no Kamadeva, but she knew a Vakarima sent. So most of Molinne Changa, Honto ni Tenda Kustano Kado Kasura, Imato Natteva, Zenyo Hakustaita Noa, Jiko no Mokugi Shogen was the Norimasa San Dake de Show. Tozi, Oharake wa Konosima no Chusin Tek Sonzai de Shimano Jikken wa Ohara Kuon ga Nigite Riona Mono de Sta. 当然そんな彼女がいなくなれば島の混乱は目に見えていましたそんな大人の事情を背景にクーちゃんはオハラクオンとして生きることを知りました島人に素顔を見せられず声も聞かせられない生活はそしてはなかったでしょう Is that why she didn't come out of the house at all? Oh, so she's just waiting for the police to come and arrest her. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But, but if that maid Kuchan was. If the maid is the. Kuon, we know now. Then her saying that Nina is my daughter. Didn't she say something? Didn't Kuon say something about giving birth to Nina back when she was mad? That doesn't make any sense. Because. I 
だな実際私は偽りの生活に5年と耐えられませんでしたからね問題はリンネちゃんの方です浜辺で発見されたリンネちゃんの姿はかつてとは変わり果てていますリンネ頬は苔手足は骨と皮ばかりで重度の栄養失調に陥っていましたそればかりではありません事故以前の記憶は半然とせずあの人懐っこかったリンネちゃんがまるで別人のように内向的にリンネちゃんが別人のように内向的に正直私は本当にリンネちゃんなのかと疑ってしまいましたですがその後の彼女を観察していて気づきました光に対する過剰な反応物語の世界への必要な逃避幼少期の記憶の喪失それらはすべて心的外傷後ストレス障害いわゆる PTSD の典型的な症状ですリンネちゃんは虐待のトラウマから自分を守るために現実世界との間に壁を作ってしまったんですしかしそれも時間が解決してくれたようでした何年もかけて少しずつではありましたがリンネちゃんは持ち前の明るさを戻していってくれましたリンネは then abused as before o h a r a k u o n the real one died That must have been around the time when she met Ohara family's eldest son, who was secretly being raised in that small hut on the rocky end of the beach. I'm, I'm when Nina regained her usual cheer over the years, that's when she. But didn't they also fall in the water? Or was it just him that fell in? Dear God. I'm trying to make sense of this in my head. Do I? She went missing again. That was when. Sets on Dina fell in the water and went to, went to like the other island where the cold sleep machine was then. <sighs> okay. Oh, I have to like build a timeline in my head. Uh, Around the family scandal. Let's just break up. And that's when the fire happened, but they actually just left the island. She left the island. クーちゃんは再び一人になりました彼女がようやくつかみかけた人並みの幸せは海の泡となって消えてしまったんですモモカ already told me the rest of the story クーン never gave up and kept on searching for ニンネ when eventually five years later right she arrived because ニンネ is the only family she has because ニンネ is her dear daughter さて以上が私の知る小原久遠の物語ですが、せつなさんの疑問は解決しましたか Yeah, you've told me enough. I'm trying to piece the things together in my head, dude.、Uh, maybe Kuon knew that the boy named Setsuna was the one who'd started breaking down the walls around Nina's heart, and that Nina wasn't able to break them down herself anymore after losing him. That's why she tried to encourage Nina's relationship with me. However, it wasn't Dina's happiness that I once swore by to dedicate my life to. I was always a question. I was always a question. I was always a question. But didn't she say she. Was she that far into the lie to say that she birthed Dina? Setsuna will do. Hopefully, hopefully, I really hope the dialogue will just make it all very, very clear at the end. I really hope so. Oh my god. Why couldn't she leave Dinne chan? I really hope this isn't gonna be like a clan ad where I have to like watch a whole YouTube video of someone explaining the theories behind. <laughs> どうしていなくなった小原久遠の代わりをリンネちゃんの母親役を引き受けたのでしょうか
行方不明になったリンネちゃんを諦めることなく5年間も探し続けていたのはなぜでしょうか Was she not lying? 結局、リンネちゃんとは何者だったのでしょうかそれは私がバイモン病の原因に気づくきっかけでもありました。It's a hereditary disease. Dina can't possibly be the daughter of Ohara no Arimasa. Right, we already established Dina also doesn't have a connection to the actual Ohara family. Dina is Kuon or Puchan, the maid's daughter? Is that the case? リンネちゃんはクーちゃんの実の子供です。She wasn't lying when she said that she birthed リンネ。But then did the Ohara family so somehow クーちゃん was pregnant at the time? And um oh. <clears throat> right. Kuon gave birth to Rinne herself but had to give her up to the Ohara family. But why? I guess because the Ohara family had a son, but the family would keep going on a girl, and maybe the original Kuon couldn't get babies anymore. Pff, what do I know? So they took.、Uh, Nina instead? As if it were their own daughter? That's why she tried so hard to provide Nina with a home here on the island, even if it meant living a lie herself. Motherly love, the wish for her child to be happy, was what made her go that far. <laughs> Maria sends me a mischievous but piercing look. 最近になって心当たりのありそうな男性に出会っちゃいまして。ルール違反ではあるのですが、コネを使ってその方とリンネちゃんの DNA 型鑑定をさせていただきました。The big question is how did that happen then? I think Spear, you've got it already. その結果がこちらになります。Maria casually hands me an envelope from the pile of the paper on her desk. What? This is、uh, Setsuna. She dangles the envelope in front of my face as if she's baiting a kitten. No thanks, I couldn't change anything if I knew. It wouldn't change anything if I knew. The story of Ohara Kuon, as told by Maria, is much grander and more heroic than the adventures of Sanzenkai Setsuna. The story of a mother fighting for the sake of, her, sake of love. And I don't appear in that story. You sure about that? Don't have the right to play a role in it. Don't mind. I don't mind if you look at it yourself. If you're that curious, just don't tell anyone. Especially not Nina. Don't know anyone less likely to ever mention the word responsibility. Really? Maria leans into me with a serious expression. Yes. Sure, you d o n t Finished her work. Finished her work. しし 
もっとスマートなやり方があったのかもしれませんあるいは母親であることを優先するべきだったのかもしれませんですが今は後悔はしていませんあの子の笑顔を見た瞬間に気がついたんです私の旅には無駄なことなど何一つなかったことに刹那さんあなたのやり遂げるべきことは何ですか What is it that I have to do?、Huh? あなたがこの島にやってきたのはそれをやり遂げたからですか No, I've come a long, long way. My first goal is to make Nina happy, no, nothing more, nothing less. But I'm not the one who has stayed by her side the longest, who has wished for her happiness the most. That wasn't my job. I haven't accomplished anything yet. あの子と本当の意味で家族になる時だと信じていますきっと刹那さんにもその時が来るでしょういつかリンネちゃんにそしてクーちゃんに家族だと認められる日が Also the fact that there she said she would shred the results of the DNA test It's likely that the、uh, the Was it a laboratory that did the test got the results saved on their own hard drives? <laughs> But, like, whatever. <clears throat> I see. Now I understand why Maria wanted to have a drink with me. Our circumstances are so similar. We're both nothing but worthless pieces of trash right now. Whew. I find it hard to believe that I'll ever see a day like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. She can't boast about finding a cure for soot blight syndrome. What an understatement. Her research is going to save countless lives, and the knowledge she's gained will be applied to other diseases as well, which will eventually change the world for the better. In the grand scheme of things, anything. Uh, anything else, even her own daughter, doesn't mean much compared to that grand achievement. That's why she should prioritize her research over being a mother. However, hey Maria, is there anything I could do? I never had any great aspirations like you do. I've just been trying to make someone close to me happy. But I've kept on failing. I haven't been able to make anyone happy. There's nothing left for me to do. <laughs> わたしにできたのはこの島を逃げ出すことだけでした。前門病の研究を始めたのはそんな自分を正当化するための言い訳に過ぎません。今こうして大見えを切って夢を語れるのは決して自分の仕事に誇りを持っているからではなく、私はど
Or does that imply that there's a reason I'm alive? Will I be able to find myself someday? What should I do to make Nina and Kuon acknowledge me as family? Regrets, huh? I think back to what Maria said before I left. If there's something left for me to do as well, something I can still do, no, something that can only be done now, something only I can accomplish, a job no one else can do. The planet isn't giving me an answer, it just brings me a gentle ocean breeze, it just keeps on turning, holding me in a silent embrace. This game's still gone. Me no, I'm the Ohara family servant. It's fine, things are changed anyway. Well, today I find myself rocking aboard a ship atop the Ezra Ocean. I'm surrounded by swarthy, brawny youths. Some of them are speaking in foreign languages. I'm the only one who doesn't quite seem to fit in. The captain's call, I look beyond the bow. Why am I going here? The large structure looms over us like a fortress. What should I do? Unfortunately, I'm not the brightest spark, so no matter how long I thought about it, I couldn't find an answer to the question. I thought of rewriting history yet again and making it as if nothing ever happened, but I've already tried that, and if I just repeat the same actions, I won't ever make any progress. So I decided to take this work anyway? I decided to go away from the Ohara mansion? It's only been a, f uh, a day since I got into contact with Momoka. She replied immediately and agreed to help me obtain a ticket towards my new life. Don't know if I've made the right choice, but I just I can't just keep on slacking off forever. Well, there's work to be done right here. <laughs> Who cares about Ohara's Moloka's back? Best girl. If I have t the time to worry, then I have time to act as well. Just like Kuon, when she was searching for her missing daughter. Just like Dini, who's taken her first steps into the outside world. In order to stand even on uh, uneven ground with them, I have to make some kind of progress too. So Momoka checks all the youth IDs, uh, youths, youths ID ID cards with practiced hands before leading them to the elevator. I'd like to call out to her. Uh, I'd like to call out to her to express my thanks, but this hasn't seen the right time and place for that. She beats me to it. What's this about? <laughs> you can't say that. Wait, what? No, <laughs> for fuck's sake, this game, this game is so stupid. A couple of hours later, after our first training session, I wasn't given a single moment to take a breather in my room. Momoka immediately called me over and... Why am I on the ship again? Boats filled with different people than before. Old geezers with gray hair, fat middle-aged men, and a few skinny youths. She's right, I'm probably the strongest out of these people. Really? And trust me? Momoka flashes me a gillless, genuine smile. So, where's the ship headed? I look away from Momoka and towards the front of the ship. Of course. Squint into the distance, on the horizon sits a single small island. 
クオンさんが暴流島を探し当てリンネさんとコールドスリープマシンを持ち帰ってきたということは、right. Right. しし、ね、リンネ、the リンネ of right now at the moment was found in the cold sleep machine あの時はことがことでしたから大した調査は行えなかったのだそうですですがあの島は海に消えたものが流れ着く場所まだまだ貴重なものが眠っている可能性がありませんというわけで今日が初の正式な調査の日なんです Trying to think how this all fits together with the anime、uh, I'm not sure anymore How does, how does a 12 episode anime fit all of this in there? I swear, like, they cut out like 90%, 99% of the story or something. I don't know. I will, I will definitely re I will definitely rewatch Island after this as well. Oh no, something just flew in through the window. Please. Oh, fuck. Oh well, Destiny, huh? That's what led me to go on my long, long journey. But when I tried searching for my destiny, I couldn't find a single trace of it. All I found was a foolish man who kept chasing after that one meaningless word. And yet. The heart eyes. Uh oh. Uh oh, heart eyes. Isn't it over yet? Or it isn't over yet? I step out onto the beach. It's so white that it almost seems translucent. The sand is soft under my feet. I sink down a little with every step, almost as if it were snow. Boryojima is the place where Nina and I once washed up in a previous timeline. <laughs> the edge of the world. <laughs> Momoka, slightly shaky on her feet, has gotten off the boat as well. Though she doesn't seem full of her usual mix of excitement and scientific curiosity. <laughs> Sanctuary. This is the place where those lost at sea end up. A graveyard, in other words. A place which the living should, mustn't enter. If they do, death will creep upon them. Momoka seems to have remembered why she's here. That could be cool. <laughs> Call them、uh, after Urashima or after Boryojima, maybe. I realize that everyone who'd been on the ship with us has already scattered. They just go where the wind blows or wherever their feet take them. Scientists are such free spirits. So, let's go. Momoka leads me further along the beach. It feels so strange walking here with one,、uh, someone other than Nina. That's rather sudden. Too bad, but you're off the mark. Yep, Spear, that's what I'm thinking too. We're not little kids, so there's no need for us to stick to each other 24-7. Alright, just gonna look up that word now. <laughs> Extra marital sex. <laughs> Unfaithfulness. <laughs> What's that made of? What kanji is it made? Floating spirit. Floating spirit? Japanese is weird.、Huh? He's so sharp, Momoka. Once, <laughs> once in this beach, I made a vow. I swore that I'd never fall in love with anyone else. If I could go back to that day and meet my past self, I'd punch him in the face. Every cloud has a silver lining. No matter what I told myself back then, there's always a chance I'll meet someone new. And fall in love with them as long as I'm alive. It's not destiny or anything, it's just natural. How childish I was back then when I didn't even understand that. Oops. Yep. <laughs> no, because Kuan was angry and. Momoka、uh, lets out a deep, deep sigh. 
仕方ありませんね何せあの島には可愛い女の子がたくさんいますからでどちらですかトゥーあれ私はてっきり、はい、カレンさんかサラちゃんかと Maybe there could be, it could have been a future like that. Huh, hmm, hmm. However, the one I chose. Nani, say, so, Jibun, or it's men I got this. Linda, some more, it's car, you just a credit of my massia. Motilon, Setna, Sanga, Chan, to Linda, San, the Motoni, Modota, Agero, Kotoga, Taisente, Desga. Modora, little, Tsmoriwa, Arun, this, you know? Not sure, oof. Not sure what my purpose would be if I went back to that mansion. I don't feel like searching for it either. The mother of the house has devoted her life to her daughter, and her daughter owes her life to her mother. The two of them can't run the household, or can run the household themselves just fine. If I stayed there any longer, I would have, I would only end up destroying their relationship. The legend, huh? Come to think of it, the legend is the sole reason why I allowed destiny to lead me astray. Momoka starts telling the story in a sing song voice as she's reciting a poem. Ironic. <laughs> the same for us. We're also not allowed to be together. Our history is a little different from the legend, though. Nina overcame a curse and I was accepted into the community. There are many different versions of the legend, but the end is always the same. The two will never be together. ボリュージマに辿り着いた刹那は魔女に懇願しませ。魔女は言いました。リンネがいつの夜かこの世界に再び生を受けることをしかしそれが何百年後になるか何千年後になるかは魔女にさえもわかりませんでした。刹那は自
Who? That there wasn't, there was something in here. My knees are shaking. <laughs> knees weak, arms heavy. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if it's because of the cold or if it's fear. Just get your phone. For a moment, the light burns my retinas, but then. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. But hmm, I get a good twist, that's for sure. Yeah, well, yeah, man. What's this? Why is this place here? How do you know anything? Ancient ruins. But weren't we in the future? When back when Never Island happened? Ay, ay, ancient ruins. Top layer of an arch underground complex? What timeline are we in? When was the thing... Oh, Jesus, fuck. That, that was the island from Never Island then, but I thought that was in the future. You wrapped that up three weeks ago. I've started playing this game over a year ago, but I uh, stopped playing for reasons. And... That is kind of annoying because I'd forgotten a lot of things. Um, but anyway. Well, I should know where an entrance is. Ah, uh, no, none of this makes sense. I thought I had some bit of sense in my head, but now it's like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> and that's happened multiple times in this game, man. Well, ancient ruins. That's not right. This is the place where I live with the in the future. It's a secret workshop she created. But what's it doing in the past? A time machine. She was building a time machine. At first, she believed it to be the cockpit of the Islander. And she insisted that it was something we needed to save the world. Maybe it was actually just a part of a real time machine? And maybe the time machine sent the entire island back to the past? Where it then died and then everyone, everyone died there and then it became the ruins that we are now? Sure, it was somewhere around here. It should be right here, if my memory serves me right. Ah, a very familiar device stands before my eyes. The cushions and cover of the chair have completely withered away, so all that remains is the frame, but its shape is exactly the same as I remember from that last day. Time machine. Mokai examines the device with a curious gaze. That's right, this is a time machine. These aren't the remains of some ancient civilization. They belong to the future, but if time slipped into the past. It's not a theory. <laughs> it isn't a theory, I saw it in my own two eyes. Not correct, but proof does she have? That was there too. この時代の技術では解析できていない部分だらけです。が、大雑把な内部構造は把握しているつもりです。What do 
What are you trying to say? But the thing is, Nina back then in Never Island was building it based off of、uh, like blueprints, which must have then come from the past. How the. But I'm. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Huh? Yeah, it's so. So, what are you talking about? I traveled to the future in order to get my hands on a time machine. And Nina had inherited the blueprints from her ancestors. How do you know for sure? It wasn't a. Wait, wait a minute. Keep going, and your questions will most likely be answered. I know something that will be answered because I already watched the anime a long time ago and something came back to me earlier. But、um, anyway, <laughs> I won't, for the sake of the. I won't, I won't say anything for the sake of spear watching and also this for YouTube that people don't know yet. Makes sense.、Uh, yeah, the anime is not that good. I know.、Um, <laughs> yeah, that was. That, The visual novel is much better. It's also, <laughs> also the conclusion I ended up on.、Um, Dean and I were building a time machine in the future, but it wasn't a time machine? But in order to save the world, to save Dean, I was wrong. But what's going on exactly? The thing is, I watched the anime when it aired, but I already forgot most of what happened in there, so. But something came back to me. What was true and what was fake? Oh god, these ruins at the bottom of the ocean. What age do they belong to? Despite what she says, she sounds rather confident. We were back in the.、Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the problem was, I got there, right? That happened after I went into the, the, the,、uh, the other cold sleep machine, but that was also a cold sleep machine. So. The Ice Age before? Yes. <laughs> マンモスが徘徊している印象がありますよねその頃の人類は原始的な石槍のようなものでマンモスを飼っていたと言われていますですが氷河期の以前にも発達した文明があったのではないかという学説があります長い氷河期により文明は失われ生き残ったわずかな人間は私たちの祖先になったのではという正直私も竜宮城をこの目で見るまでは半信半疑だったのですがそう考えることで辻褄が合うことが多すぎるんですなぜ遺跡が海底にあるのか地下に広がる巨大な建造物をどうやって作ったのかこの島の伝承もコールドスリープマシンらしき記述が出てくることを考えると当時の出来事を下敷きにしている可能性があります A legend. Yeah, that's right. Everything started with that legend, which turned my life into a roller coaster. You just said that the Setsurandin in the legend were related by blood, didn't you? How are they related exactly? Omoka lets her gaze drift, appearing to dig deep into her memories. I already know the answer.
Setsuna lived on the island as the older brother of Nine. The witch has been resurrected. It's Sara Garland. And he was banished from the island after making Sara out to be a witch. <laughs> the inhabitants of the island mistook Karin, who died from soot blight syndrome, for Dine, the girl who was cursed by the witch. And in order to be reunited with her, Setsuna. Set out on a long, long journey. The legend isn't just a folktale. It describes the true events revolving around Setsuna and Inne. That Setsuna was actually me. It was me. What was my own name? It was all about my own destiny. Once upon a time in this world, a man and a woman fell in love. The man's name was Setsuna and the woman's name was Nine. However, the two were destined to remain separated. Their love was not allowed to be. The man set out on a long, long journey, dreaming of the day he would be reunited with the woman. And in a distant, bright future, a world filled with light, the two met again. However, this isn't the end of the story. It's time to start the sequel now. Let's try and get to the end of this endless story. Ah. <laughs> Was was that a Kevin quote? What? Your favorite character is Sara. Shinde kudasai, shinde kudasai. <laughs> you don't believe me. Well, I told Momoka everything I know about the story of Setsuna and Inne, about that pure white world they lived in, where humankind was about to go extinct, where people were struggling, fighting to survive, where they fell in love with each other. She wants to kill Setsuna still being polite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs><笑> Yeah. After Nina turned on the machine with me inside, she must have realized that it wasn't a time machine but a cold sleep machine. And then she built another one so she could join me in my long sleep. There is a mosquito that flew into my room because I have the open window. <laughs> Hoping that we'd be able to share the same time once again, that we'd be able to continue our story together. But there is evidence to the contrary. The reason I went to the island in the first place was to save Nina from this from this age. But if it wasn't the future I traveled to, then who was I trying to save? And when I came back, came to this world, I was overcome by a strange sense of nostalgia. Felt like I already knew her, though it shouldn't. It should have been the first time we met. The cold sleep machine can only go forwards, right? In time, Momoka gazes up at the distant sky, she answers. But where did those blueprints come from? この時代くらいの文明だった時代もあったはずです。Wait, do you mean? So, you're saying that the island 
I went to was the future of that world. Hmm? The speculation is probably correct. When I woke up near the island, I couldn't immediately, immediately recall, recall why I was there, and it was the same when I came to this age. All I was left with was a strong sense of urgency, a sense of duty. I knew I had to save somebody, but I only remembered uh, about that after I met Rinne and Rinne. アイランドの時代にもこの時代によく似た伝承が残っていたんですよねなら、その前にも悲劇的な結末を迎えた刹那とリンネの二人がいたのではないでしょうか and then Setsuna set out for the future to try and save Dinne. Yeah. そういうことになります。そして彼がたどり着いた時代では以前の行動が伝承として残っており、伝承にあやかってリンネという名前の女の子がいて。I'm <laughs> sorry. Setsuna and Nina from legend lived and met the tragic end before that age, before island. Then Setsuna set out for the future to try and save Nina. What? When you. Is his exploits are chronicled there. And he encountered another girl named Dean after legend. Uh, what does that signify? There's Dean who I met on the island, and Dean who I met in this age. It took me a moment to get, get what went on, and not only because English is not my first language. Yeah, English is not my first language either, but um, I'm okay with it. But uh, this whole game has just been me trying to wrap my head around what's actually going on. Oh. Was there another Dina before that? Wait a minute, wouldn't that be too much of a coincidence? <laughs> Scientists shouldn't be making such baseless claims. Momoka speaks in a soft but clear voice. <laughs> Reincarnation? Huh? I'm from the Netherlands. Neighbors. <laughs> Neighbor country. Um, Setsuna, who is said to have go, uh, gone to sleep encased in ice, actually existed. In that case, does Dine, who was supposed to have been given life in this world once again, exist as well? Tachyon particles, what was that again? Oh man, was that um... Was that when they went faster than light or something? So they went backwards in time? Uh, was that what it was? Hypothetical particle that always travels faster than light, but then it must be going backwards or something like that. Fucking whatever, Jesus fucking Christ. Ah. <laughs> Oops. 
それでもあのような巨大な建造物を作ることができたとは私にはにわかには想像できませんしかも現在世界各地で見つかりつつある海底遺跡もおそらくアイランドと同種のものだと思われます古代人は世界規模のいえもしかしたらそれ以上の何者かの意思によって意図的に選別されたという可能性も否定しきれません Selected. 一部の人間だけが選ばれアイランドという檻に閉じ込められ強制的に文明をリセットされたんです例えばそうですね近畿に触れようとした罰とか A taboo so great that it destroyed the civilization. Maybe they had something that the people of that age weren't supposed to have. OP arts? So, s t e said to the Sama, so no animono can you take off through the many codazing a conodine or caricon the sisa? What's an OP art? An out of place artifact. Is an artifact of historical, archaeological, or, or palette, palette interest found to of an unusual context which challenges conventional human chronology, chrono, chrono, chronology by its presence in the context. Such artifacts that may appear too advanced for technology. Right, so that, okay, that's the thing. Um, they had something they weren't supposed to have. What stuff do I usually stream? I usually stream, I don't know, Mario Kart Wii on my、uh, YouTube channel. My Twitch is kind of dead. I will use it for streaming things that can cause copyright infringement, <laughs> like anime music quiz. Link to my Discord in the description if you want to join. <laughs>、um, or in the description. I'm not on YouTube right now. Link to my Discord below the stream, but if someone's watching on YouTube, I don't even care anymore. Um, because this will be a VOD on YouTube. So, Ste Setna Sama, so no Nanimonokani Taiko Sultamini, Kodazin, a Konojani Okarikon, the Sisa. Well, your individual novels. Well, I'm planning to play Dangan Rompa 1 and then also the new Front Wing VN uh, Atri after that, but jeez. Ah, this. <laughs> Sent to this age as a messenger by those ancients as an act of rebellion. You kidding me? That's what it all boils down to. Doesn't matter to me how this world is constructed. I don't care what the world expects from me. I'm just an ordinary guy, and there's a limit to how much normal people can do. Let me think. I'll. Maria asked me the same thing the other day. Back then, I couldn't think of anything to do, but now things are a little different. I'm going to bring the legend to a conclusion. I don't know what kind of end it's going to be, but I remember. I remember the reason I came to this age. The wish she made when she sent me here. But whom? Nina? You found this game by chance when a German streamer played it. <laughs> Alright. Actually, I mean, I saw the anime and I knew they were going to be releasing an English version of the visual novel that it was based off of, so I also bought that one after watching the anime. Hey, Nina. I managed to meet you again, though maybe you didn't want to see me. Maybe you didn't want me to see your face if we did meet. But the truth remains that we, meant we met once more, and I did see your face, and that thing glimmering around your neck. Something I need to tell you. I missed the chance to say it that day. I'm going to stop running away, so you can stop running too. Please wait for me, Nina. German streamers exist. <laughs> A rare species, oh my god. The stiflingly hot air seems to have suddenly disappeared, and I'm starting to get a little cold in my short sleeves. The summer is coming to a close. I look around the empty living room. We had a party here on a certain midsummer's day. Back then, it felt as if summer would last forever. 
I thought I'd found something eternal. Eternal Summer? Wasn't that a part of this game as well? Was that? Where does that... It's like deja vu, I've heard that before. But the seasons keep on changing. Things that... Keep in mind, I haven't... I, I took like half a year break or something from this game at some point, so like... <sighs> things that once existed for certain... Fade away and disappear. That's natural. Because time flows in one direction, passed into future, and people are unable to resist the flow. But still, some things do get passed down through ch the changing times. I hear soft footsteps coming down the stairs. Those feet belong to... Ina. Just, just to the end of the world and back. Huh. It's, a, it's a globe. Well, wait. What if the world is flat? Then there is an end of the world. She's right. The world is endless. No. Flat earthers. Flat earthers are angry at this game. <laughs> As being childish, imagining otherwise, the world stretches up far beyond what the eye can see. I've only ever s glimpsed a small part of it. <laughs> Not me! <laughs> ah, the shaved ice, dude! Huh? <laughs> Fuck. No. Didn't I start the stream with saying, but we still gotta eat the bloody shaved ice at some point because we still didn't get to? God damn it. Yeah, I. Why did I go away, idiot me? <laughs> Sorry, I just had some unfinished business. Dina blinks a couple of times, a stupefied look on her face. Dina was born and raised in this age. She doesn't know anything. Hey, Dina, were you lonely without me? I see, in that case, it's probably for the best that she never knows. Knowing the truth only would only hurt her. By the way, do you know where Kuon is? I need to talk to her for a bit. I'll be back soon. Hmm. I pass by Nina and head towards the stairs. She calls out to me, holding me back. I can hear her voice from behind. That? My heart seems to skip a beat. Does she know? What? No, no, no. I jumped to conclusions too soon. Oh, uh, well. About that. Oops. Maybe she already knows. Jumping to conclusions. No, there's no way Dina doesn't know anything. She knows about the existence of the cold sleep machine. She knows that it's no use trying to guess people's age based on appearances. And most importantly, she's realized. She's realized that I've changed. She's more aware of it than I am myself. She can see through anything where I'm concerned. Hey, Dina. In that case, lies would only hurt her. I love you. From the moment we first met, I knew that you were more important to me than anyone in the world. Hmm. She's always been with me, so close that I tend to take her for granted. Losing her would be scarier for me than anything in the world. I want to be family, your real family. My irreplaceable treasure, and I do anything for you. You give me the courage for that. These feelings of mine will never change, no matter how much th time may pass. And you're the one who gave me meaning to my life. Yeah, we're. Once upon a time, this world, a man and a woman fell in love. The man's name was Setsuna. But the woman's name was Nina. However, the two were destined to remain separated. Their love was not allowed to be. 
The man dreamed of the day he could see the woman again. Yeah, I know. I'm the one who should be thanking you, Dina. Thanks for accepting me as your family. Thanks for loving me, worthless as I am. I won't hesitate anymore. There's only one thing I have to do. Just wait a moment, Nina. It won't take long. There's a reason why I've been alive all this time. There's a reason why you were born. Our destiny is meaning. That's why I have to go and protect that destiny. <clears throat> now, Spear said something in chat earlier, and I'm not sure if that conclusion is already supposed to be a thing you should know. If that is a thing. I stand in front of the closed door. I pause for a while, but I already deduced it earlier as well. I pause for a while and take a deep, deep breath. The world has gotten bigger. Many things are different from back in those days when we had to hide underground in a shelter closed off by the snow. But some things have stayed the same. She's never once given up on her battle, not even when the world was about to end. She's kept on trying to save the world for the sake of love. All in that small workshop. Can I come in? No response. But it was the same back then. There were no doors to separate us and no need for formalities. We were chasing a much grander dream. Can I just open the bloody door? I place my hand on the doorknob. The door isn't locked. It opens with a little creak as I turn this knob slightly. <laughs> I gently open the door again. Almost like I'm being invited in. The room looks as if somebody's turned a trash can upside down. Barricaded off windows. There is a computer there, even though... I mean, this is 1999. It's filled with junk from who knows where, along with piles of difficult-looking books, countless notes in disarray, and an old computer. Old computer? I'm not sure, like... It's 1999, huh? What kind of lifestyle could leave a room looking like this? Wait, I already know. There's no need for me to try and imagine it. This is the room of a person chasing after a single dream. She's always lived in a room like this, sleeping on the floor, not even using the bed. Right. She was always curled up into a ball, just like this. She takes short breaks, huddled on the floor like this, drawing deep, regular breaths. When she woke up, she'd resume her work. I'd grumble loudly while wandering the snowy plains, and she'd pout and groan over the blueprints, scratching her head. When the sun set, it'd be the time for dinner. We'd report our progress that day to each other, while sharing whatever little food we had. The evenings were short. We couldn't waste any oil, so we'd turn off the light pretty early and go to sleep together under one blanket. Of course, it would take a while to s for sleep to arrive since we'd still be hungry, so we talked about the future. We could talk about it endlessly. Hey, Dean, if our dream comes true one day, if we manage to reach somewhere warmer, what do you want to do then? I want to live near the ocean, in a big house, and I want to make lots of friends, and raise a family. We talk about foolish little fan fancies like that for hours. Eventually one of us would get tired and fall asleep, and the other would follow shortly after. And we, When we woke up, we'd resume the flight, or fight to realize our dream again. I pick up one of the sheets from the pile of notes on the desk. Words and diagrams are packed together tightly on one page. She's probably been drawing this from memory since some parts are missing. But I'm sure she I've seen this before. It's the Ark of Hope, the fulfillment of her dreams. Her only means of attaining happiness. These are the blueprints from back then. Ah, what the hell have I done? I led her on by telling her that the world could be saved if she completed the machine and that her dreams would come true, even though I knew that she'd believe every single word I said, despite me not having any evidence. She was even willing to give up her life. However, no matter how much junk she pieced together, in the end it was still just junk. There's no way it could have made her dreams come true. You could even say that I crushed her dreams, and yet, the whole time while I was fast asleep, while I was preoccupied with my own happiness, unaware of anything else that was going on, she kept on believing in what I said to her that day. Dine.
。あ<笑>人には誰しも決して踏み込まれたくない領域があります。もちろん私にも。そしてあなたにも。お引き取りください。ここにあなたの居場所はありません。Her words pierce me like an ice cold blade. Like she's tearing through me in a single blow. When did she regain her memory? If she's the one who named her daughter Nina, she might have already remembered by the time she gave birth. Which would mean that over, for over 20 years she has been. It's probably no use to ask you for forgiveness. Don't mention it ever again? Yeah, that's her answer. Same, Mirko. <laughs> I think if, if、uh, when I post the VOD on, on YouTube, you can see, I think I was like open mouth, like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It'll be on, like, it'll, the VOD will go on to, like, my other YouTube channel, Kevin AG207. Anyway, however, I was completely blind that day. Wait, shoot, now I've already forgotten what it. Don't mention it ever again. That was her answer. However, I was completely blind that day. Blind to the reason I'm here and to what I have to do. I have some things to say to you, not about the past, but about the future. That's right, the future. Her dreams came true. That has to be a lie. Then what's this? Show the sheets of paper I'm holding. Why are you still trying to build that machine? Her dreams have really come true. Why are you repeating what you did back then? You're still chasing after your dream, even now. Hey, why don't you stop lying to yourself already? There's no need to do that in front of me. The dream is still the same as it was back then. Wasn't it like, from, like that from the moment we met? Ooh, how admirable of you, and what would those dreams be? I might be able to help you, you know? I believe you. Even if anyone else laughs at you and you have to. And even if you try to deny it yourself, I'll believe in you with everything I am. Her dream is to save the world. You never ask anything for yourself, you simply keep on fighting for everyone else's sake. She kept on fighting for the people close to her, even when the world was about to end. You'd never hesitate. You'd never give up. That's just who you are, Dina. That's right, all I ever did was talk. I was only getting in your way, and I couldn't be with you when you needed it the most. 
I drop my gaze down to the document in my hand. It looks like she's rewritten it over and over. This old piece of paper is clearly the result of many years of trial and error. <laughs> yeah, this is yours. I hold it out for her to take. She's the one who's supposed to hold on to these. But you know, she's about to take it from me, but she pauses. This part isn't right. You can almost hear the creak of the Wheel of Destiny turning. The wiring here, I remember this bit being connected. <clears throat> it was like that in the original blueprints, wasn't it? You're missing one of the parts, remember? It was shaped like this. If we pour over the blueprints, our faces close together while we fill in the blanks. We connect all the separate fragments together one by one. Okay, that part goes. Time had come to a standstill, but now it's starting to flow backward. Within the blink of an eye, a gap of about 20 years has been filled in, and we've leaped 20,000 years through time. And now we've arrived. Sure, will this do? <laughs> Jeez, you're so full of yourself. Not amazing or anything, I just remember. There's no way I'd forget. About those times when every day was exciting as exciting as the next. With a pen in hand, Ina faces the blank paper. Bit by bit, a new blueprint takes shape on its surface. But, hey, Ina. Oh? I catch a glimpse of Ina's silver collar when she looks up from the blueprint. What are you planning to do in the future? Those blueprints are for a time machine which only travels from the past into the future. But that's not what you know, what we wanted. The dream we were chasing after back then. Huh? Yeah, we talked about that one day. When an object moves at high velocity, time will slow down for that object. When it reaches the speed of light, time will come to a standstill, and when it surpasses the speed of light, time will flow backward. D yes, even though in reality nothing could go faster than light, but let's forget about that for a moment. <laughs> a chrono quake could make that possible. If you manage to escape its effect yourself, you can effectively travel to the past. You think that the whole Earth went through a chrono quake and went back in time, except for the... the cold sleep machine. But it's impossible for anybody to observe a chrono quake if it turns back time for the entire universe. In that case, it's nothing but a pipe dream. あれから色々調べたの。時間について。時間はね、振動なの。そして振動はね、温度なの。I don't know too much about quantum mechanics myself, so... We don't know if light is the fastest thing in existence, science can only go that far and maybe things are visible to us, even using our best technology. Eh. Zero point motion? Yeah, 
The electrons of the atom, the nucleus and the electrons collide and the atom is erased from existence? つまり一種の追消滅だね。そしてその逆が水星星。この宇宙は水星星で生まれたんじゃないかって言われてる。でも追消滅しちゃった物体は本当はどこに消えたのかな。水星星で生まれたっていうこの宇宙は本当はどこ
Hmm, how did they find out that I'd be leaving? Well, I did slip up and tell the policeman about it yesterday, but still can't believe how quickly rumors spread here. The terrors of life in the countryside, I guess. <laughs> Huh. Hey, aren't you being a little cruel? What do you mean that Setsuna? <laughs> the cop indeed. Ugh, oh yeah, now as you mentioned, it might have done some things like that. Wait, am I really that, that awkward dude? Okay, I'll just have to go back to the past to make sure those things never happen. Hmm. I don't know the exact schedule just yet. No, I'll definitely be back. It won't take long. That's odd. Though, uh, I thought it sounded pretty cool. I pressed enter too once too many times. Takes one to know one. Huh? Ouch. <laughs> Stop kicking me, I'm going to fall. Hey, I'm seriously going to fall in the ocean. <laughs> So that glances around. Well, I suppose they'd have to ask eventually. Uh, um, right now she is... <laughs> no, not really, but... Now, how to explain? Well... <laughs> ほんどで明日に働き口を見つけるなんてそういやそうだな私だって苦労してんのに一体どんな金を使ってあのあまり制作しないであげていただけますか二人ともおっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ、おっ
So, Momoka, you said you arranged the ship. Thanks for everything you've done. Who could be that? What's wrong? You wanna miss me? Unfair. ある人を突然島にやってきたかと思ったら、唐突に去っていくなんて。まるで渡り鳥のような人です。それってさ、なんかすげえ自由じゃねえか。Isn't in that case, there's nothing left for me to do on this island. I'm sure they'll usher in a brilliant future. Captain hollers at us from the open sea over the sound of the diesel engine. Seems like it's time to depart. Anyway, Karen, Sara. See you. I won't say goodbye. We're only temporarily parting. Uh, we're only temporarily parting ways after all. Yeah, I will. Yes. Of course. That's exactly why I have to go now. In order to create a world in which nobody has to be sad, there'll be no suffering anymore, just laughter. I've been dropped by the offshore platform on our way. One hour later, we're riding atop the waves again. The ocean is gone today and the air is clear. I can still see the island where I left those girls behind. Hmm? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Yeah, I'm planning to eventually in my own way. This is just part of the process. I don't intend to lose sight of my final destination. Sorry for dragging you into this. Kuan is still on the island now, working on her time machine, so when she finishes it, she'll need somebody to use it. Building a time machine isn't Kuan's final goal, nor mine. Our goal is to use it to save the world. Yeah, I figured so, but I'm used to long trips. She'll never give up. I trust her, that's why I'm going to the future. So could you please tell me, tell her somehow, like we originally planned? And Dina too. There's no way that they'd agree with it. It's my fault that the officer let it slip to some people. I was originally planning to set off without anybody's knowledge. I mean, I'm not a very good liar, so if I tried to come up with an excuse, they'd notice right away. It's okay. As long as you can keep it up for a short while, sorry for yawning. <laughs> Just until I get back. Momoka shoots sm smooths down her wind wind tousled hair. Come to think of it, I never did mention it to her. I thought it was so obvious that there was no need to state it. I'm going to travel back to the past and save the world. I already know which point in time I'll return to the beginning of my journey before I went to the island. To be honest, I barely remember anything from that time, but there I should find whatever led me to set out my on my journey to the future in the first place. The real cause why I ended up bringing misfortune into this world. If I go back to that point, I can correct my mistakes and then I can also save the world. Decisionの書き換え。何が起きるかは誰にもわかりません。因果率が崩壊し、世界そのものが消滅してしまうかもしれません。あるいは新たに平行世界が誕生し、この世界は今のまま存続していくのかもしれません。いえ、何者かの意
In my case, wouldn't everything I'm doing turn out to be in vain? No, that can't be. Right, me too. It's not right giving up on something before you've even tried it. It's not right being afraid of something because you've never done it. Anyone's capable of doing it, uh, uh, capable of it, diving headfirst into a world they've never seen before. Is that why I've been trying to so hard to talk me out of it? Well, it's probably my destiny. Of course, it was an option for me to keep on living in this world. Well, we have had many of those before. But I rejected that option by living my life the way I did. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if I let, wallow, I let myself wallow in happiness while there were still things left for me to do. You're right. I don't know what will happen once I complete my mission, but I'm thinking of coming back here. No matter what obstacles stand in my way, even if the journey turns out to be much longer one, uh, than the one I went through while trying to get the machine. Bye, Mirko. To tell you the truth, I wasn't planning to come back at first. I'm the one who brought misfortune upon the world. That's why I thought that saving the world was the only thing I should be doing. That I didn't have the right to be happy myself. But, Kuhn was kind enough to rely on me, and Dina acknowledged me as her family, worthless as I am. That's all they did, but still they accepted me. Those little things definitely made me happy. I finally found some real happiness in the course of my long, long journey. I'll just have to grab hold of it once I've finished my mission. After I've saved the world, I'll be happy. How long does this go on for? I'll definitely be back, so don't you don't have to worry. Wait. Yeah, you couldn't come back if you changed the plan. I'll overcome whatever contradictions get in my way. If the world splits up into multiple parallel worlds, I'll travel across the multiverse to return to this one. If the world collapses, I'll go and pummel some sense into the gods so that they'll recreate it. If there, are plenty, there are plenty of options I haven't tried yet. <laughs> Though the world may not be the same when that time comes, I'll do my best, but I apologize in advance in case I mess up. Yeah, you can trust me. Please don't expect anything like that. Besides, what she plans to do with all those girls, aren't they or enough already? Lol. Yeah, I know. Kona's is never going to give up, but. Whether or not she'll manage to complete the time machine is a different matter entirely. Maybe there are some holes in her theory and time travel is actually impossible. I mean, even if she does complete it, it might be kept at a heavily guarded laboratory where someone like me would never get the chance to use it. A law forbidding time travel, time travel might be enacted and I might have to make a ridiculously expensive deal in the black market. There's some uncertainties, so many, pos or so many uncertainties, so many possibilities. But that's only natural. Nobody has seen what the world will look like in the future after all. It's not like me to lose my wits because of something like that. If something happens, I'll think it through then and there and deal with it. The captain's call. We look below the bow of the ship and see the silhouette of a small island floating on the horizon. A quiet sanctuary, the perfect place to wait secretly for the future to come. And the place I've chosen as the starting point of my final journey. Boyujima? What? This isn't over yet, are you bloody joking? Uh... Uh, I don't know how long this will go on for, dude. Holy crap. Yeah, it's, it's midnight. And, um... I'm gonna call it quits for now. <laughs> Why did I go to Boryujima though? Why did I go to Boryujima? Didn't I, didn't I go and like... Uh, 
Ah, uh, I thought, didn't it say I was gonna work, do some university something something? Why am I going to Bordeaux, you know? Oh well, maybe it ends in like two minutes and I have no idea, but um, I will just save this. Oops. And then, uh... Go back to title. It's not over yet, dude. Oh my god. What the heck, man? So much happened. Uh, I still don't understand all of it. Oh well. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream.